Uh, the men in charge of this match tonight, Matt Jack and Gavin Reynolds, Pat Reynolds, is the video referee. It's two of the star performers just adjust their apparel prior to kickoff, and Penrith will run right left. And as Parramatta take their formation, Luke Bort Burt slots in on the left Watch wing. That will see Ken Seo stay behind. Play at fullback. So Luke Walsh is the kicks off, and Penrith running down towards the northern end of Parramatta Stadium, which in fact is the Leeds club end, and that's a determined run from all good. It had intensity written across it, really. Now for Tim Manor to back it up, and they get it to just inside the 20-metre line, the blue and golds, and here's the first it's penalty in the game. One, two, three. He's warned them that they're inside the he's 10. He pointed really to McKendry, and, and then he said, look, there's two he's markers, in really and, and you're in front of off. me. So that's one, two, three inside the 10. You're only allowed two, and they must be markers. But he pinched McKendry, really, for being inside the 10. So the Eels come out of their red zone with uh, some kind of a, an invitation. For and uh, here is Tim Manor taking it out towards halfway. Parramatta coming down the western side of the ground at the moment, and again, it's all good who takes it ahead. Heavily bandaged around the biceps uh, on, on both arms and the forearm of the right arm, also heavily taped. This will be Lasalo underneath there, I fancy, as he gets up. In fact, it's Matua. Now they go to Lasalo, to uh, Roberts, and Roberts is put down 30 metres away from the Penrith line. Channel 9, Friday Night Football, and Keaton decides to send it forwards down the blind side through Matua. And this is the last for Parramatta. Roberts is going to find Sando, who's going to kick. He puts a little kick over into the end goal. The bounce is all oh, favourable, I've got to say. For the Panthers, number two, Waisili, playing against his old club tonight for the first time. Okay. Hey, Parramatta showed their hand there. The second set of set with the ball in their hand. Sent a lot of traffic down the left side at Luke Walsh last week. The Rabbits put a lot of traffic there with, with Greg Inglis in particular. Yeah, see a lot of that tonight. He was lucky. Stay behind. Well, silly. He lost his traction at ground underneath him. Well, that's a bad kick. This will give Parramatta a wonderful uh, starting point for this new set. And Manor will be playing the ball 29 metres out in centre ground. Play back to Keating and away to Heinmark running close to the ruck. To hit up from a forward, he'll play it on the 20 meter line. Keating goes away, dummies twice, then Roberts, and they hit coming in from the back. CEO, it is, as Peter said, playing at full back. Now from Keating, back to all good, his third carry of the night. And it ends about three meters away from the chalk. Down at the southern end, Keating now, Roberts now, Sando with it, showed it inside, went outside, put a kick in, turns Wysili around, but he's again equal to the task. Yeah, not quite sure why Chris Sando would have kicked there. He actually did cause some confusion in the defence with the dummy and created something. It would have been much more advantageous to go through the hands. A simple turnover, and that's Luke Lewis leading by example out to the 20. Picked up a shoulder to the sternum area for his problems. This is Weston, who got recalled to the 17 with Tim Grant unavailable to play again this weekend. Here's McHenry running again at Hindmarsh, who always tackles with great determination, but I just got the feeling those last two hits that he put together had a bit more vigour in them, and here's a break made by uh, Nathan Smith, it is, and I think Last he's hurt. Change over here. I think he's hurt, mate, he's hurt. Take your time, time out. Well, he's hurt, but it's also a brave last tackle option there from Penrith. I think half the team knew that it was the, the last tackle. The other half didn't. He did, mate. I heard him from here. Had his hand up in the air and everything. And Nathan Smith, one of these injuries where somebody him, grabs from behind and all of a sudden some part of the body ends up in a bad position. Tim Manor coming in from behind, straight down to the ankle. So they've called for the stretcher to bring Nathan Smith from the ground. And uh, we'll take a break. Young Simpkins will come into the side in just a moment when we come back. So you don't like to see 
anybody suffer serious injury, but Nathan looks like he's picked up just that. He's been, I won't say an unsung hero. Everybody that has ever watched him play knows that he's totally committed. So Nathan Smith, the back rower for Penrith, receiving some attention from the trainers as they bring the, the stretcher out to bring him from the field after this happened to him in a tackle after he'd made a complete break. And it's not pretty. No, it's shocking to see. Nathan Smith, one of the, the real tough first graders that maybe don't carry the profile of, of some teammates or from players from other teams, but he gets the job done and play him anywhere. Great flexibility to the coach, being able to play a man in the back row, in the centres, fullback, anywhere, and get the job done. Well, he's knocked back the the armchair ride or the mobility of the medi cab. A lot of players resist that, knock back the the offer. He came from Canberra, of course, to Penrith. Nathan back in 2007. Of course, we've seen a, a similar sight for Penrith, unfortunately, earlier in the season with Michael Gordon going down. Long-term injury. Well, Nathan Smith taken from the field. It's going to mean there's a bit more workload now on the, the forwards, the back row in particular, because that man... His, uh, his major part of equipment is defence. His hind mask with the ball now for Parramatta. Five metres into Penrith's area and the Parramatta captain playing the ball, Keating to Sando. Manor gave him a, a decoy run on the inside, a shoulder charge misfired on Masalo. It was Dane Weston who went for the shoulder charge. Now it's gone from Keating and it's gone down to Roberts. And then Tonga puts it down, Penrith pick it up. Walsh has got the ball away, Simmons is with it now. And David Simmons will play the ball just outside his 40-metre line. Play back to Luke Walsh in an acting halfback. And here is Lachlan Coote. And Coote will play the ball short of halfway. Opening match in round four. Luke Lewis. Taken just inside Parramatta's territory. And running across the ground is Michael Jennings. Playing the ball on the 40-metre line. Playing it back to Kevin Kingston, himself a former eel. And that's Clinton Newton taking it up to the 30-metre point. For Newton to play it, back to Kingston. Little juggle as he played it. Now it's gone to Walsh, and here is the 15 taking it ahead, Weston. So Penrith on their final tackle on this set. And it's off the boot of Walsh. It's a judicious kick. And Theo is underneath it, 20, and he's ordered them out to the 20-metre line for the restart. Luke Burke gets back to the 20 quickly, put a boot on it, and the officials allowed it to go on. 28 out and a penalty. The penalty goes against the Penrith defenders. And again, Luke Lewis questions the referee. That really hurts your team. They haven't been down this end of the field much tonight, and on both occasions they've given penalties away. It's a nice kick from Ben Roberts, picks up good metres. Excellent take from Ken Seo because the, the kick was pinpoint just as Lachlan Coote arrived. Keating goes to a charging all good. And he'll play the ball 37 metres away from the Penrith line. Keating decides to go down his blind side again and he's picked up Tonga. Willie. One of the big off-season purchases by any club in the league. Now Hindmarsh. Just outside 20, middle ground. For Parramatta to Sando on the right side, and here is Lasalo. Legs taken from under him there by Travis Burns. Now for Sando in the middle, and he goes away to Heimars. Heimars in an upright tackle. Back to Keating, this is the last. Sando, long ball, Morgan. Morgan get a ball away, oh, came off the chest there of Lasalo. Went to Penrith. Have a hand over here. Knock on against Parramatta. 
Yeah, yeah they haven't found their rhythm yet. I'd like to have that play again, Chris Sando. Probably grab the ball in the end goal, try to build some pressure. You just see the team when they're down on confidence. Just trying to force their hand all the time. Inside the 30 metre line. And Penrith bringing it away. McKendry with a good, strong run. Sideline Brad Fittler. Good evening, Ravi. Beautiful night down here. Nathan Smith, early diagnosis. Syndesmosis, uh, high sprain on his right foot. So at the moment, I believe it's uh, not a break. So that's good news. Thank you, Brad. Something I like about Brad, he, he gets the, the right medical description of the problem. Travis Burns! The pass was forward to Lachlan yeah, no, Well, they were very fortunate, Parramatta. Awful yeah, defence there. And Tanella Lasalo racing up on the inside and opening up a hole for Travis Burns, which he gleefully accepted and passed to Lachlan Coote just forward. And that was a good opportunity. And one handed to them by some pretty shoddy defence. This is... Chase Blair who plays the ball. Parramatta working it back up to halfway. The Penrith haven't really... Oh, this might be a penalty. Yes, it is. It's, it's been aided out of the, the grasp of Rennie Matur, I fancy by a knee from that fellow, Weston. Well, maybe not a knee, but certainly a shin or something. And purely accidental, but he's given the penalty. And I was about to make the point that Penrith haven't mounted any what you might call intense pressure because they've just made a mistake or given a penalty down at that end of the ground where you, you score some points. Here's Tim Manor now. His brother at the club these days, John from Cronulla. Played by Tim and it's gone to Keating and he goes behind high margin. Roberts double pumps. There was Matura flying through. 11 away from the line. Parramatta have been down here a lot in the game. All good as also done a lot in the game that must be run number five for him i'd say as it comes from keating to sando double pumps gets the ball to his uh, fullback co and co will play the ball on four play back to the silo now to sando here is high marsh will be key to get rid of this ball if he can and he takes it to ground eventually as we reach the back of the tackle count and here's Roberts, and he finds Matua. It's gone to ground. I'm going to hand over. Well, just no patience. As Andrew Johns pointed out, the option there is to kick. Whether you go grub it in goal and try and start from under the post through a line dropout for the opposition, or you go high and turn it into a lottery, a 50-50 chance at a bomb. But you don't run the football when there's nothing on. And the last two forays down at that end of the field, that's exactly what Parramatta have done. Is Simpkins, I think, underneath there. He's on, taking the place of Nathan Smith, the injured Nathan Smith, and this is Luke Lewis. 35 away from his own line. Very much a look-alike of Nathan Smith as the Penrith captain. Now McKendry. Kingston a run. Kingston a dodging run. Unloads the ball. Went backwards. He even had to kick it backwards. Referee said, Parramatta touched the ball. They almost went to sleep in defence, thinking a scrum was coming. Played by Coop. Now the tackler has got himself offside. Penalty Penrith. Blair it was, the big winger. He's wrapped around. He actually contacted the arm of the dummy half, but he had to stay square. And he's got penalised for that by Reynolds. I'll leave this early on, a big moment coming up in this game. If the Panthers, their first time they've had the football at this end of the field, can score points, psychologically, it's a huge blow because it's been all Parramatta through their possession. But it is nil all, and Penrith a great opportunity here. So here it comes to Burns across Clint Newton's face, and here is Jennings escaping and stepping and left-footing and fending and getting the ball away to Sam McKendry. And McKendry will play the ball. Jennings stays there. And he goes long to the right with Walsh a dummy for Lewis Short. Tonga low in the defence. Brad Ty, Luke Walsh, Travis Burns. He goes to Lachlan Coop and Coop is taken by Ryan Morgan. Gets him a help there from Lasalo. 
They're 12 away from the Parramatta line. And here they come with Newton Jennings. It's a try. It's a try for Wasili against his former club, Parramatta. First time they've mounted intense pressure and they come home with four points. And just took advantage of a simple overlap. It was three on two. Parramatta didn't adjust. And there was enough vision. You can see there, three players for Penrith up against two. The dummy half attracts the marker. And then it's just a simple pass pass to the man in the corner. Pretty happy winger, Etu Wasili. Part of the Parramatta unit last year. And a look of uh, extreme joy on his face as he basically comes back to scale after scoring the try. Well, he did some very good things for Parramatta last year. Etu Waisili in a year that wasn't a good one. We all know that, but he wasn't the chief offender and he got a lot of joy out of scoring that try. That was quite animated from him. If you like, almost enunciated by his facial expressions to the crowd. Walsh then from the sideline. One in, 21 out. Towards the league club end and the northern end of the ground. Luke Walsh the kicker. 4-0 Penrith. And the kick is looking good. And hitting the bar, it's hit the bar and gone in. It's hit an upright and bounced over the bar. So 6-0 Panthers after 13 minutes. And Brad Fittler is our sideline eye. Yeah, good start by the Panthers. Second time down here, they've come up with points. Beautiful call here on the Kuno replay by Clint Newton. Over calls their best decoy, the halfback who's sitting on the other side of the ruck. Eddie Wasali gets us off nice here, the Panthers. And the conversion from the sideline off the timber, 6 0. We've seen this, some conversions hit the post in the opening rounds here on a number of occasions. And just going back to that try, you can see on the Kino replay the marker in Ryan Morgan. It's a great ploy if you see the opposing centre playing at marker. They have to be short down that side and then Penrith took full advantage. Played out there by Weston as they bring it back to their 30 metre line and there's Lewis working a little a little cross play with Newton. Toyota Cup tonight went to Penrith 36 to 20. Brad made a very interesting point about some years ago these two clubs they had massive junior areas and the, the rivalry between Parramatta and Penrith even way down at Matthews level was extreme. Here's Coot putting a kick in that should go. No, it's just stood on its point. And Blair went back and Coot has got him. So, oh, that's good defense. It's, it's a very good piece of work by Lachlan Coot. Not only did he kick, he led the chase, put everybody on side, and then he made the tackle on a bloke twice as big as himself. So Parramatta bogging down back inside their, their 10. And Luke Burke tries to adjust that a little bit. coming off the timber breaks it I thought they might have been steel posts but anyway if they're timber they're timber now it's come away to Sando and Chris reefs it down the ground where it's met by David Simmons it comes back towards Luke Walsh but it's a nice tackle by Willie Tonga played and Walsh gave it away to Coot and Coot looks at Sando and Manor and then Manor is first to take him so 6-0 in favor of the Panthers both matches last year they won so Travis Burns works it along the line and out to a, a second receiver you might say in Clint Newton playing the ball centimeters into Parramatta's territory here's McKendry Here's Walsh, inside ball, that is Weston, then Kingston, now Lewis. And Lewis has got Newton inside, and he's got Burns inside, and he's gone across to Walsh. They put a torpedo pass out wide to Greg Ty. Our 
Simmons to come in, gets the ball to him. Simmons is on his way towards the line. Oh, he could have passed to Kingston, but he took the tackle. Penrith on the attack now. Travis Burns goes for the line. Referee calls. He didn't get back. Penalty Penrith. Penalty Penrith. Hit the line. Parramatta Wait, did not Kevin. get back behind the line. Matt Keating. Yeah, normally when you're talking converted try or two converted tries, a penalty to extend it outside of that is generally the option. But Penrith know there's more points than just two on offer here. Kevin Kingston. He takes on the defensive line, which didn't move up. Western dummies and tries to use brute strength to get over the line. He takes it to ground, closing down the second tackle of this set. Uh, a set that they hope will bring them another four. Lewis out the back, burns to Jennings, they won't catch him. He's like a stroke of lightning. Michael Jennings and his fourth try of the year. 10-0. Scored one in 15 games last year, as Ray points out. Four tries. He's got Billy Slatter at his sights. He's a couple in front still. Just a nice executed play here from Penrith. The, the second or third time they've used it so far tonight, and on each occasion, they've almost got through. It's that right side defence with Parramatta. The first try, Newton went down a short side. There's just no communication on that. On the first try to Arcelli, that time, once again, there was no communication. And with this man on screen, Michael Jennings, he gets space, he's going to score. And definitely justified the decision not to take the gift two points via the penalty. You could just see that the, the Penrith players, they knew that we're close to getting over again. Let's go for more. He's pretty to watch, isn't he, Jennings, when he's in full flight. You've seen him a couple of times tonight. The, the electric speed that he's got, the weaving and the dancing, the elusiveness. Beautiful to watch, Michael Jennings. Now Walsh, 20 out, 10 in. This one, he's put a hook on it, he's hit it again. The timber. He's taken the timber again, Brad Fittler. Rabbi, I just found out it's not timber or steel. It's actually aluminium, buddy. Thank you. Aluminium. Bro. And Thank if you, you didn't notice, Luke Lewis. What's Luke Lewis today? He'll be a lot more involved. He was stuck on the right side the first two weeks. It's not his favourite side. He's been put into the into the middle where he loves it. He just put Michael Jennings through a lovely hole there. So watch for a big game from Luke. Ten mil then in favour of Penrith as we go into the back half of the, the first stanza. This is Simpkins. Play the ball inside the 20 metre line. He's come away to McKendrick. Well, I guess, Joe, it's the obvious side to attack, really, for Parramatta. You've got a couple of rookies widest in Ryan Morgan and Chase Blair, Daniela Lasalo and Chris Sando. Yeah, you spoke early in the game. Lasalo was coming out of the line. Chris Sando was hanging back. And the last try, Ryan Morgan, he came in to, to shut the play off. And the young winger, Chase Blair, he, he, he stayed back, so. I need some work. Newton getting it off. Kingston on. Coot in. Walsh with the ball. Short. Jenkins did well. There's no knock on there. Touched the hand. Came back to Coot. Now to Weston. Weston goes up to halfway. And Parramatta almost could be accused on occasions of playing touch football. Weston to play the ball right on halfway. And Kingston gets it back. It's with Burns. And Burns puts a kick in that won't go to the left. It wants to go back towards the right. And Sio has got the ball. He runs it out towards the 20-meter line. We've seen him do some good work. Sio bringing it back from similar situations. And that's Blair. Now Morgan. Weston making the major tackle with Kingston the assist. Keating into the 17 as Paulo. The ball gone loose, advantage Penrith. That applies. Jennings out wide, and Walsh gave him a ball. 30 metres out from the Parramatta line, it'll be played by Jennings, and it's gone through Walsh and found Newton. Newton picked up and put down hard. Hindmarsh involved with all good. Ball played to Kingston. 
Down to the middle of the ground they go with Walsh and then a second man, Lewis. He drops it on the ground. It's play on again. Walsh goes away to Burns. They're coming out towards Jennings, but they've gone to Newton, gone back to Kingston. This is McKendry. Move. Keep coming, boys. And McKendry plays the ball there only 10 metres out, and here's Lewis. Good tackle by Paulo. He came up with the boot. He probably should have been penalised. It's a little kick by Lewis and the rolling ball. Chase Blair can't handle it. They're going in again. Why, silly, has got his second try. Well, that's a, an interesting piece of refereeing. I, I don't know whether to say it was a good piece, but he could have penalised Parramatta in an action that I called to you, but he let play go because he knew Penrith were very much in the ascendancy. The difference between the two teams at the moment, Luke Walsh takes control, the grubber through, and unfortunately the bouncing ball Chase Blair couldn't control. And then over in the corner. I told you he enjoys it. Would you have him enunciating yeah. the, the tries? I don't know what it means. That's nice. I don't know what it means. It sounds like it means I something think I, good. I think I said enunciating with his animation. That's what Facial it animation, yeah. Beautiful. Well, Etu Waisili again, another try for Penrith playing against Parramatta. Really, Tonga, of course, he went from Parramatta and came back, I think, in his first match against Parramatta and uh, hurt them on more than one occasion. Luke Walsh now taking the kick from 22 out to these aluminium posts. And this one is OK. It's more than OK. It's absolutely beautiful. Brad Fittler sideline. Hey, Rabbi, just watching the Penrith attack. A couple of weeks ago, they were really disjointed. They were cramping each other's for style. They're giving each other plenty of room. There's plenty of communication behind the line. And on the Kuno replay, Chase Blair puts it down. Travis Burns turns, take, takes on the winger. And Edward Sarley gets his second for the night. And some apologies are due to you people out there. I think we lost some pictures to you for a brief moment or so. In fact, we were working I think on one camera, a bit like the ABC 25, 35 years ago, doing Sandy football, Jim Shepard. God love him. But no, I'm, I'm being sarcastic, but we do apologise for losing transmission for a brief moment. Didn't have the ball, mate. Justin Pillar's first involvement tonight well, well, is to well, give well, a penalty away by hitting a man without the ball. I've answered your question, mate. Off you go. That have been a I've answered your question, mate. Nathan Heimar saying it should have been a penalty to us for obstruction. Paul coming into McKendry and putting him down in no uncertain terms. Yeah, Brad Fitler spoke about the tennis team playing with great width. I've been watching Luke Walsh. His passing game tonight, giving early ball to the centers, Jennings and Torres. Playing with a lot of width. Well, they've gone out to a lead here, Penrith, uh, of 16 to nil, which is a similar thing to what happened to them last Sunday against South Sydney. They looked up at the board at about this time last Sunday in the corresponding half, and it was 18-0. Here they are leading 16-0. And they build up a similar lead, I think, in their last encounter. Here's Walsh into space, and here comes Coot. He'll finish it off. Lachlan Coot, oh! Did he get the ball down before being tackled? The ref was on side with it. And he points to the spot. It seemed to take an eternity to put the ball down. Well, the signs are it could be anything. The Parramatta defence all over the place. Unfortunately, Nathan Highmarsh here pushed off. But the hole that, that opened up, it, it's hard to fathom. Luke Walsh went straight through, Lock and Coop. Wonderful support player, loomed up on his inside. But an offload put the Parramatta defence under pressure. That man stepped through, put the fend into the chest of Nathan Highmarsh. And on the Kino replay, we see Lachlan Coote go very close to the dead ball line, but was always in control of the situation. 
It's the offloads that are killing Parramatta. Penrith keeping the ball alive that time from Travis Burns. Look, Travis Burns didn't call him a giant of a, of a 5'8". There was three players on him then. And to get the ball away, it was a great effort. But you, you have to say that the defence from the Earls is it's inept at the moment. It's very gentle, isn't it? Here's Walsh. And his simplest kick of the night. He puts that between the uprights. And Penrith have gone out to a 22 to nil lead. And I'm almost positive that was the score, very close to the score anyway, at half time or early on in the last encounter. Here's Luke Lewis with the ball. Well, there were three players there on Travis Burns. Not one of them concerned with the football. Totally oblivious to the ball. And Travis Burns popped out, and you've got three involved in a defensive tackle. That isn't stopping the football. It's going to put pressure on somewhere else. Communication is non-existent. Down that right side for Parramatta. So it appears. McKendry playing the ball. Here is Luke Lewis now. As we come back direct to you, and that tackle might have crept up a little bit. It brought a groan. Joseph Paulo brought a bit of a groan from from Luke Lewis and oh Simpkins his head went rocking back as Matua launched himself into him well, he's very fortunate not to be penalized there Jason Paul I might have come up off the ball but it certainly hit Luke Lewis high Penrith now on their own 40 meter line as it comes away to Walsh and Walsh sends it down it bounces Pretty much at right angles, over towards the sideline and Waisili tries to show his opposite number that sideline. And a penalty goes for a second effort. Oh, well, wait, make sure all your plays are Penalty on the to Parramatta moment. against Waisili. Well, it's really a baptism of fire for that young man there, Chase Blair. He's been impressive in the top grade this year, but he's got a couple of bounces that haven't favoured him. and. Penrith coming through, looking to hammer him on every occasion. It's welcome to first grade. This is Justin Poor. 35 metres away from his own line. Behind Marsh. Moy Moy's going on. Roberts kicking. Bounce favourable for Coote. Coming to 20, Morgan got eyes for him. Why silly? Moi Moi embraces him, puts him to ground. Here's Jennings. Two, 22-0, four tries to Penrith. Walsh across. Simmons. Captain putting it down. Here we go. Well, an opportunity for Parramatta. They haven't had one for the last 20 minutes. They dominated the opening 10. And I know it's not a, a good tactic to, to alter your formation during the course of the game, but if I'm Steve Kearney at halftime, I'm really thinking of bringing Renny Matua from Just left side to right side eight. defence. Willie Tong is strong over there. Second Renny spot, Matua in the, the last four. couple of minutes Second is... He's gone up with a lot of intent, he's read it well, and he's looking to hit the opposition. I, I think he could do well on this side of the field. Here's Parramatta with a chance. Chris Sando. Just outside his V20 metre line, and here's Matua. Keating looking to go left side. He does that, and Hanmas gets a really strong tackle on him from Weston. Keating back to the oh, middle, oh, and Justin oh, Poor forward pass. Half an hour of the game gone. Penrith with the loose head and feed, back on the 10-metre line. Sunday football is uh, the dogs and the knights four o'clock on sunday from anz stadium 
here in Sydney. Bulldogs on their home park against the Knights at four o'clock on Sunday. You'll see the telecast. Arms up, Justin. No early Arms falls. Up. Wait for the outcall. All right, mate. Good. Staying at lock. Get in there. Out. David Simmons. He's brushed away. He's gone down towards halfway. Sprinting hard. Co picks him up in cover. David Simmons plays the ball from Ty to Coote, Walsh, Walsh, Short, Lewis, Lewis to the 20 metre line. Jennings, Walsh, inside ball, that looks like Galea. 15 out from the line, played to Kingston, gone to Travis Burns and Moy Moy has got him. Kingston. Scurries across to dummy half. Long into Walsh. Now for Weston. Weston a few metres out from the line. Last tackle for Penrith. Is number five coming. Walsh into the corner. Picture perfect. David Simmons down to Lachlan Coote. And intercepted by Philly Moimoy. But I haven't heard his name soon. <laughs> Suits him. It does. It does. You're quite right. Fui Moy. That can abbreviate a bit further. Fui Moy. 30 metres. A bit more than that out. That is Paulo. Yeah, be careful. He had a little blow early in the game, so. On the boot there, Chow, look at Jennings. Jennings puts it on the toe, right, Jennings gets the bounce, right. but they've called it all back. Yeah, knock on there. He's he playing advantage for Parramatta. But again, just in that little passage here, Joey, the urgency of the situation no, the was just all one way. He taught from an early age, still. He's, he's got to play to the, the whistle. He's made play the ball. And what if the referee let this ball go? Yeah. Then Jennings is under the post, the ball goes to ground. It's poor passes, it's knocked down there clearly, but the players are just standing around. You never know in these situations, sometimes the referees can, can miss it. You've got to play to play to the whistle. It's just the, the basics. Another young player on debut tonight for Penrith, Mitch A. Church. Ryan Simpkins into this game early. He played 17 minutes on debut up at centre bit against South Sydney. Big number 19 as we go sideline with Brad Fittler. Okay, in 2003, they altered that rule, Stella. He took about playing to the ball. In 2003, that rule, that was an accidental touch by Luke Lewis, I think. Well, let's play on. That should have been a try. You mean in attempting a tackle, Brad? That's right. I remember we no, scored I think, it. They, I think they changed it back. I yeah. think they changed, they changed it, back. it back, did they? I'm, I'm almost positive. I'll find out for you, Rabbit. I almost said I'm almost bloody positive, but I didn't say that. Oh, Here's the up. Back to Roberts, now to Moy Moy. 35 metres out from the Penrith line. Short side play. Roberts is with the ball. And Roberts will play at 25 out. 22 nil with about six minutes of the first half to go. Sando. Kicks down towards Morgan, and this might be a penalty. No, he's too, he said, turn it over. Well, of course, he's an attacking player. But I still uh, was of the opinion that he was in a situation there with Wysilly that looked a little bit dangerous, but you can tackle. You can tackle an attacking player with both feet off the ground. This is David Simmons passing before he hits the ground. Well, I thought Harold should we take it back. Well, that's fair enough. This play is, the ball. Uh, to play the ball. You get play Gavin the ball. Reynolds yeah. saying, wait there, I wait called there, Hill. The and you pass the ball, so go back and do it again. I think it's a good rule, though. Or a, good in, a good interpretation. 25 metres out from their own line, the Panthers dealing it out against Parramatta. Newton. 
This will be play on and six more tackles. Jennings. Jennings away to Lewis. Tonga went up and was beaten badly. Jennings on the inside. Steps away from one and he runs into Heimarsh. Played by Jennings. Ty to Walsh. Walsh, Coote. Coote and Walsh are having an absolute ball of a time out there. Now, this is Achurch on Dubu in 19. That's where they are, right in the middle of Parramatta Stadium. And it is Walsh who dummy, dummy, dummies, and then he pirouettes. Now he sees a gap, and he goes through it. Then he passes. It's come from Galea. Gone to Burns. Burns is taken. Ball goes to ground. Oh. It, it almost swear blind Luke Walsh has got funnel webs all over him. He's at his best, Luke Walsh, when he's running the ball. This is a great passing game and, and one of the best kicking games in the competition. But when he's running the ball, just mixes up his game so well. Travis Burns takes the line on here. Justin Poor knocks the ball out. They look dangerous. The Penrith Panthers, it's the offloads that are killing the Earls. The offloads tonight. Nine offloads to the Panthers, only no, one to the Earls. Stay in tight. Right Take uh, a report on... Uh, Nathan Smith, what's the story, Brad? Well, they've shipped him off to hospital, Brad. He uh, could be a suspected fracture in his right leg, on the top of his ankle. And I'd also like to apologise, Rabbi. The rule was changed back this year. Right. You were right. I was wrong. Uh, it's, a, it's a big man that can admit that publicly. Yeah. But you are a big unit. Thank you. 20 metres out from his own line, the ball will be played out here by Parramatta's CEO. That's Willie Tonga. Two and three quarter minutes to go before the break, and 22 nil in favour of Penrith. Luke Burt had to laugh. We did a match at Darwin once upon a time, Andrew, talking about steel posts. Our commentator didn't realise there was steel. Here's Paulo, it's gone to ground, and referee stops it. So our commentator was working with Jack Gibson, the late great Jack Gibson, and our commentator said that breeze is strong coming from the south, Jack. Look at the flags on top of the uprights. <laughs> Jack said there's steel, son. <laughs> Who was that? I'm not going to go there. Not going to go there. Mind you, it was, uh, it was classic commentary. Stay here. We all suffer from it. A bit of foot in the mouth sometimes. Or the faux pas, as it's called. Fed by Welsh, picked up by Kingston, then Coote. And uh, Lachlan twisted over by Matua on top of Keating. Half time, one and a half minutes away. And there's Simpkins offloading or downloading. And to play the ball is Galea. Play back to Kingston now for Achers. Makes good meters. Good determination. Walsh then. Go second man. Picks up two days. Oh, why silly. Now Jennings steps off his left foot again. Puts the fend up, but he's taken to ground. Oh, why silly. And Jennings are absolutely thrilling people down this left side. Here's Walsh to the line. And lays it down there for Luke Lewis. Thrilling people if they follow Penrith. Now, here's the last. And Walsh, Walsh, Stammers comes back and kicks back towards Chase Blair. It's gone off the hand, I think, of Penrith. No, he's ordered goal line dropout. There's plenty happening down in the corner where our cameras are at the moment. Why, silly, and this fellow, the five, the... Chase Blair. <laughs> he's awarded the dropout while silly's blowing up. <laughs> well, I would have oh, thought, <laughs> looking at it, I thought it came off way. I thought yeah. it came off way silly. On or behind the line, mate. But what's he time blowing up about? Oh, who would know? Sando with a, a low trajectory. Phil goal. Drop out. Here comes a shot for goal from Lachlan Coos. The arms go up in the air. And uh, Travis Burns it was. It was Travis Burns, not Lachlan. And they take another point. 23 nil.
at half time. That's the kick from Travis. And uh, it was certainly a field goal. Had a screw on it. We thought for a moment it might have just taken a right hand turn before the uprights, but it's okay. 23 plays nothing at half time. Stay behind. running from right to left in the second half of this match and giving up a lead of 23 points and a big run by a church Parramatta would be defender was Joseph Paulo it's Galea this was a massive charge back by a church I made the point close to half time he's, he's on debut he made, he made a couple of runs and they they had quality written right across them, and so did that. Now Galea runs into Moy Moy. Yeah, Rennie Mature came bouncing out. I like the fact that Rennie's actually been moved to that side of the field. That's him taking Clint Newton on now. It'll solidify that side to some degree. There's the last tackle now signalled against Penrith, just inside their own half. Lockwood Coot back towards Ken Seo. Second bounce retrieves it. taken back towards his 10 meter line Kingston and Burns doing the job on him this is Tonga Justin Paul 25 meters away from his own line this is Paulo and Joseph Paulo playing the ball 35 out from his own line. To the right side for Hindmarsh. And Nathan is taken by Kingston and by Simpkins. So to the boot of Sando. Going down towards Lachlan Coote. And fullback. And quite a long run before he gave it off to Waisili. Now Burns, and now it's Jennings. Walsh, Galea, over halfway. A church. Tackle four, mate. He's bleeding. You believe, mate, you've got plenty of claret. Yeah, he's got a bit of claret. I tell you what else, he's got a bit of talent. He's just got that little, that <laughs> little bit of jersey talent jersey. That, that stands out and makes you sit up and say, hey, this kid's got something. I remember seeing Tim Grant in a similar situation many years ago. Well, he's a similar build, isn't he? Isn't he? He's got a wonderful physique, and, and when he fills it out, there's going to be some kind of proposition. Blood wiped away, it looked worse than it was, Luke Walsh. Drills it low, should bounce up nicely for Sio. Oh, he made a difficult bounce, look good. Roberts just sweeping the ball along to Tonga. And Justin Paul now. Trying to wedge it outside the 20. Brad, an injury update from the Sheds? Yeah, if you have a look at the ground, it's all chunks up. One thing I do know, Penrith have put in a complaint to Peter Denny, the, um, the ground manager here from the NRL. They believe the Nathan, Nathan Smith injury has something to do with the condition of the field. Now, I know me and Andrew are looking at it earlier. And is it... I was out there at half time, the ground manager told me there's been a disease that's crept into the grass due to the bad conditions. Joey, what's it like? May playing when the conditions are like that and the ground's been chunked up. Yeah, I noticed two weeks ago when Parramatta played the Warriors, he was a heavy pitch went out in the field after it. And, and that middle third of the field where the goalposts are, there was uh, there was a lot of loose ground. And, yeah, it um, looked a bit iffy, to be honest, Freddie. There's Walsh turning it over to Simpkins. And he's on his 40 metre line. Brad Ty had to run a long way to go to Dummy Half and sprint. Good 10 metres to be taken by Justin Poor and Nathan Hindmarsh, who collided just a minute ago. Now it's come away, and here's Burns off his left foot. Oh, he strode down to the 
the 10 meter line where an ankle tap stopped him. The flag back to Jennings. And here they are again with Walsh setting himself to kick. And Moy Moy picks it up. And it's a knock on against the Parramatta forward. It was away, down to halfway. But everybody else was standing back saying, Fooey, back here. Back here. Very attractive looking football team, the Panthers, when they get possession and get space and room to play. Yeah, good call there. Moy Moy putting down the right hand, bounced off it. Plucked one out from above his head earlier to take an intercept. He nearly did it both ways. But they'll be doing very well here, Parramatta, early in the second half to hold it out. Consecutive sets, very tough. Good. In from the back, that ball might have got some urging, but it's with Jennings. And Jennings played the ball 10 metres away from the Parramatta line. Kingston looking for Burns and looking for Walsh, and here he is taking the tackle. Heinmarsh. But nothing came of all of those plans. Now Walsh and now Galea. Danny Galea on the third tackle, playing it back for Kingston. Then Travis Burns, he pulls it back, hangs on, and Parramatta puts three players into the defence. Highmarsh, Paul and Paulo Kingston. Now to Walsh, long torpedo, oh, lovely hand, Simpkins, good pass to Brad Ty, and Brad Ty scores, but the number 17, that was a wonderful piece of picking the ball up and passing almost in one motion. And it caught Willie Tonga out completely. Came racing in. Very wide defensive line there and the centre coming in. Three on one in the end. Nothing Luke Burke could do about that. So instead of getting better, it's got worse. Brad Ty, the try scorer. Twenty-seven nil. Well, there's the two men that combined finally. Although the the pass from Walsh wasn't it was a lovely ball but Simpkins made it look even better and for a player who what only debuted last Sunday he went down around his ankles picked it up and passed all in one motion for Brad Ty to pick up the four pointer and Walsh from near enough to the sideline kicking towards the southern uprights now to take it out to 29 nothing it's coming around and no goal Brad Fittler sideline. Yeah, well, in the first half, all the tries went down the Parramatta right-hand side, and I nearly excuse young Ryan Morgan and Chase Blair due to their inexperience for perhaps a couple of lapses. But Willie Tonga come flying in on there. That's poor defence from an experienced player and for his winger on the Kuno replay not to follow him in. No They're just not talking the Parramatta side. The block is back with more twists and turns than ever before. Eight new couples take off on the roller coaster ride of their lives. Nine's all new, the block coming back soon on nine. Scotty Cam, 25 metres out from their own line, the Panthers then with a church. Now Lewis, Simpkins gave him just a little decoy run. And here's a church, now pick button, Simmons taking it away. The play at 12 metres his own side of halfway. And now here is a church. Coot. Oh, that's knocked on. Knocked on down there by CO. So I don't have to tell you, you can see he's trying to get the ball. You know what I mean? Yeah. If we can. 
sums it up, doesn't it? And that's a shame because Ken Seo has been a shining light. He's been very good for Parramatta this year, and no surprise that Stephen Kearney again slotted him into fullback. And Jared Hayne unable to come back into this game. And I've got to say, I hate, well, I hate to say it, Ray, but a number of Parramatta fans have already left. And when I was making my way back from half time, the southern end, there was some angry sentiment out there and plenty of disillusionment. And you go, Lock. And I don't think they'll feel any better 10 minutes into the second half. They're arguing with themselves, the boats I was mingling with and, and the gentlemen. There's a ball going left side for Jennings. He's stepping up that left foot again. And again, the danger signs go out. Michael Jennings, two metres from the line. From Kingston to Walsh and then in ball for Lewis. And Lewis is taken down by the initial tackle of Justin Poor. They're queuing up on the blind side. Burns has got the ball. Travis Burns will be made to play it. Still a few metres out. Third tackle gone on this set. And Kingston perseveres with the blind side. And Newton got a ball away. And uh, that player over there at uh, Wysilly, just short of the line. Now Burns. Look at the length of these passes. Walsh turns a short ball in. Galeer is with it. 18 out. Middle ground. Luke Walsh, the conductor. Ball bouncing, still bouncing, and eventually it's taken dead by Seo. So Penrith will come back with another shot, and Luke Lewis gives the little number seven a pat on the head, and I said the conductor, he really is in total control, Luke Walsh. Yeah, he's career best form, Luke Walsh. What I'd like tonight, obviously his kicking game is first class, and he's passing, but he's... When the occasions arose, he's run the ball. He set that try up for Lachlan Coop. Stay behind. Just looks in control. Looks comfortable out there. They're having a good time, aren't they, Kenneth? They're just really in a nice zone where they've got all the energy. The defence isn't in their face. They're just playing some good footy and having a nice time doing so. Simpkins on the, on the 40 metre line. Casey Maguire has gone into the game, taking the place of Matthew Keyes. A church. Middle of the ground just outside the 30 meter line. Mitchell A church. Galea. Open himself un, up for a, a shoulder charge from Paulo. Kingston, Walsh, Lewis, dummied inside to Coote, who played the ball just inside 20. Lewis. Kingston, Walsh, here comes Coote, and Coote put down 10 metres away from the line. This is the last, Walsh was on the left, he's come to the right, and there goes the kick, and the chase is on for David Simmons, up goes the big man, and he puts it down to Casey Maguire. Now he's got the ball back, here's Lewis with the ball, but the referee has ordered turnover. Has he? Yes. I think he's ruled a forward pass, forward pass from, yeah. from Simmons. Forward pass to, to the opposition. Go. Is that possible? <laughs> it's a little bit like Preston Campbell last year signalling six a game for the other team. <laughs> Can you throw a That's got to be a find. That's got to be a find at David Simmons. Morgan. Who wants it? CO. Maguire. Paulo's with him. And the ball down to Sando, who did well. Ball goes down to ground, and Parramatta diving on it. Just for a moment, I thought they might have got a penalty because Joseph Paulo was held out of the action. The kick from Sando is very, very high. And uh, Kuth comes away. Beats Lasalo. Taken down by Morgan. This is why silly. He was only inches short of a hat trick down the other end not so long ago. Doing his time down that left side. And 
Moimo has come to the, the sideline and we learn a lot about Parramatta in this next 25 minutes. Play by Burns on halfway. Kingston back for Jennings. Jennings unloading. Burns again. Walsh again. Now Lewis. Lewis goes long out to tie. He's got the winger Simmons down the sideline. The ball goes out off the boot of David Simmons on the full. Uh, Take the scrum, mate, if you like. Here, oh, and by that I mean the attitude over this next 25 minutes will, will tell Stephen Kearney what kind of football team he has under his guidance 27 nil it's a tough score line but first grades it, it's it's a tough job as well twenty five minutes of the match remaining Beaten 42 to 6 last weekend and down 27 nil this weekend. Doesn't read well, does it? Here's Blair, not held, got up, went again. Taken by Austin. Now, Maguire. This is poor. 42 metres away from the Penrith line. And Roberts. Inside ball for Remy Matua. Casey Maguire, Joseph Paulo with him, now with the football. And Paulo to play the ball inside the 20 metre line. Played back to Maguire and given to Sando. Sando puts a kick in. He's looking for the jump from over on the far side. Chase Blair. And it's gone into First touch. I think if he catches that or tries to catch it, young Blair, he's over the line and scores. He actually tried to knock it back. Kick was a good one. Let's have, have a look where he finishes up. Oh, no, it went over his head anyway. So we also learn about Penrith. They can get sloppy in, in these kind of situations, and that will not please Ivan Clear if it happens tonight. He'll want the zero to remain next to Parramatta. He'll want the 27 extended. But in all of that, he won't want his side to get sloppy. On the bike. Here it is with CO. Ten metres out from the Penrith line. Austin and Burns, the tackles. Maguire giving it to Paul. Here is Joseph Paulo. Two metres away. We play it to Casey Maguire. Out to Crescendo, long and low. Roberts got away from a tackle from Lewis. The ball comes down to Seo. And he runs into Blake Austin. Penalty against Austin coming up with the boot. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Sando taking the tap. And after Roberts, it's Matua. Away to Sando. And it goes to Sio. On the bounce, it'll be favourable for Blair. Blair comes channeling back on an angle. Penrith players diving in to defend. Now from Maguire to Sando. Sando stepping off his left and then his right foot. It takes him to that point on the ground, a couple of metres away. Here is Maguire going back and Paulo gets it on through Roberts. It's found Tonga and Tonga runs into Burns. And more Penrith troops come on the scene. Sia through the tour. Paulo. Paulo with the hand. Just the one hand on the ball and then it's Lasalo. Five tackles, Parramatta. As it goes to Sando and he... Chip kicks into the in goal where it's marked on the full there by Wasili. They get a comfortable run back to the 20. Puts a boot on it and is tackled just inside the 30 metre line. Almost three quarters of the game gone. Simmons. Looked very dangerous tonight, David Simmons. Good to see him back after that early bout of concussion. Made his comeback last week. Some good metres tonight as Austin finds support in McKendry, takes it over halfway, drags players with him and offloads. 
Good. Burns, Walsh, Boston back on the inside. Beats Vassalo, taken by Paulo and Heimars. Inside the 30 meter line, this is the last tackle for Penrith and Burns. Swats it in behind and Newton was leading the chase. This could be a try. Travis Burns, I think it's come legitimately off a Parramatta player to a player onside for Penrith. Ken Seo making the mistake. Yeah, it was a very tough ball for him, but Travis Burns, he got a double against South in a losing side last week. Well, he put a lovely little grubber kick through here, and Ken Seo was confronted by the ball and about three chases in Penrith jerseys, all of them behind the kicker. And Seo gets there, the ball hits his knee and just pops up to Travis Burns. He's having a good season, the number six for Penrith. the man of the moment and the halfback and 5 8 combination have been superb tonight Travis Burns scoring yet another try and Luke Walsh will attempt conversion and uh, the touch judges don't, don't have to move anywhere so it's another two points on the board and the Panthers go out to an unusual lead of 33 to nil Brad Fittler it looked nice but didn't it Brad's at 33 gotta say spoke to Ivan Cleary after the loss last week against South Sydney and at no stage did he think his play side gave up and here 30 points in front on the Kuno replay Travis Burns shows they haven't given up tonight they haven't stopped playing footy he'll be Tommy mighty Lund, impressed with the way they're going to finish this game off you see last Sunday I, I was just thinking to myself what happened last Sunday but I've got a feeling South Sydney when they get all those hombres those those giant men that travel with speed they're going to cause a lot of trouble for a lot of teams and Penrith is no exception you get Burgess and Taylor and Inglis and Sutton and those people running as fast as they do they they trample over the top of Penrith well, I made the point during the call of the game last week I didn't think Penrith were actually ever really out of it I know the scoreline didn't indicate that they were down at 18 nil got back to 18-12 but just when they sort of looked like mounting a charge, South were good enough to get away on them. But I kind of had the feeling that Penrith always had points in them. And, well, they've had 33 so far in them tonight. It's Clint Newton running with renewed vigour. Back to Walsh now. And he puts a kick down into the corner. And Chase Blair will come out met by a ring of defenders. And uh, this is CEO that's taken by Coote and also Lewis. Joey, you mentioned Luke Walsh being in career best form. Playmakers love to be loved. And the fact that his contract extended, all of a sudden, he, he just knows he's around. He's got that security. And, and a lot of times that'll come out in your game, won't it? I think his contract was extended before even a game was played this year. Must have impressed in the offseason. He's just really matured as a player and physically he looks a lot stronger. He's only very small. He was at Newcastle a few years ago. And he was small and quite skinny, but just like he's filled out. I spoke before control. He just looks so much control. And his partner in crime, Travis Burns, is in good form also. David Simmons taking that kick on, on the fly. Sunday, 4 o'clock, the telecast of the Bulldogs up against the Knights. Dogs, well, they're on fire. Going really good for Des Hasler. And that uh, Englishman, isn't he good? James Graham. Well, the dogs are up against the Knights on Sunday at ANZ Stadium. And Wasili is getting some attention. Do you know anything about, uh, is it Tyrone Roberts, the 5 8? He broke uh, an eye socket, I think, in the last trial for the Knights. Uh, so he hasn't played for, for two months. There's a whisper around that Kirk Gidley may play. There's been a lot of whispers around about players who might play this weekend. We saw one of them at half time, but 
Have you seen him play, the, the kid that's going to wear six? Yeah. He's a, a product of uh, the North Coast from Ballina. Started in the under-20s a couple of years ago. He's, he's tasted first grade last year. He's got a big future in the game. Walsh puts a kick in. And Simmons has gone for the accelerator, but Luke Bird is there to be tackled immediately by Brad Ty. And Parramatta with the football. Mate, Under pressure bringing it out. You've been around sport a long time. But why are they whispers? Why didn't somebody just say it out loud if it's going to happen? Any reason for that? I don't know. It's a subject that I could sit for half an hour or more and talk to you about. Why did we say just quietly? I don't know. I can't answer that. I can't work out why people say yes, no. The start of sentences. Yeah, no. What are you looking at me for? Oh, Who's Larry? He no. must be a happy bloke. I thought you might know the answer. Why do we say things like just quietly? So down into the end goal. Comes out with Lachlan Coote. He's taken down eight metres from his own line. Burns. Think of a couple for me, people. Newton. Kingston back. Walsh with it. Lewis now. 30 out, middle ground. McKendry. Now Burns. Walsh puts it down for Chase Blair. Twenty-five out. He's bounced back well, Chase Blair. Something things went against him earlier in this game, but he hasn't hidden. He's put himself in a position to carry the football as often as possible. As mentioned before, he's a, he's a good style of a of a player. He's got a great physique for an outside back. He's well over six feet. Big broad shoulders. I think a few more years in the gymnasium. He's going to be a big boy. Roberts. Now all good is back into the game. He started at a furious speed. All good. The time they gave him, he gave them good value. Coot. Bundled down by Sando. Gee, there's an arm that might have snuck up a little bit high on David Simmons. Weston to the 30 metre line. Gee, he's taking every opportunity in the starting lineup, isn't he? Dane Weston, no Tim Grant tonight. He was great last week, Dane Weston, and he's been really good tonight as well, especially in those opening 15 or 20 minutes. Pink Newton pops it out the back. Luke Walsh does well to gather it in. And now Lewis. Stepping up his right foot, but down around the bootlaces, Maguire cuts him, cuts him down. Kingston puts a kick in, and Co takes it on the leg, brings it outside 20, goes to 30, goes beyond 30, slices through, good run. It's a good carry back. Now Blair got away from Austin, He's trampled away from another, he got a ball away. It's all OK to play on. This is Morgan on the start of a new set. They've nullified. Now it's gone down to Lasalo. Burns is off. Now, Sando on the inside. Tim Manor. 20 metres out, middle of the ground. Running. You don't scoreless at 33 nil. They might not be scoreless much longer. Going in is Remy Matua. He's been good tonight, Rennie Matua. He's worked very hard. He's got up quickly out of the defensive line. A nice little play here from Chris Sando. Short ball on the inside to Rennie Matua. And he sliced through. Spectacular finish to it. Almost a flip pass. He, he just went straight through Matua under the post. Four to become six. Well, all of that started with that that long, incisive run yeah, we do know from CO 
quick play of the ball, Blair, and that's where it was produced. Conversion of the Rennie Matua try. And there is the try scorer, Rennie Matua, who has made the, the trek back from the dark room. And now out of Parramatta and scoring this try, the first points of the night for them. He's one person who firmly believes that there is a future in rugby league for Willie Mason. Where that opportunity might come from, I don't know. And neither does Rennie. His manner. And the captain sitting back, dejected, depressed, dismantled. This is Lasalo. His tackle count 21, Parramatta, 11, Penrith. His kick going down into the corner, Coot. There's a 40 20 shot from. Chris Sando, who misses the ankle tap, and Lachlan Cook. Kicking on the third, trying to get possession at the other end of the field. The world's biggest show is coming to Australia. They can't see a thing. It's all about the voice they can hear. Delta Goodrum, Keith Urban, Seal and Joel Madden. The voice coming soon tonight. Well, that's the second time that Eddie Rosselli has some treatment for cramp. He, he's had a night out against his old club. He's had a ball. And as a winger, couldn't have done much more to contribute to a victory tonight. This is Weston. Hard to imagine Ivan Cleary naming 17 without, without Weston on the performances we've seen from him in the last couple of weeks. In fact, this is our third week in a row with Penrith. Kendry, Kingston, Austin, Galea, Austin to ground, and he said knock on. Check him. Knock on. I'll take this one. Australian swim team announced last night. I see a squad of 44 will go to London. And uh, well done to those athletes that have made particularly their first Olympic team and of course Liesl Jones her fourth Olympic team first person ever from the swimming fraternity to do okay, such a boys. thing that's what you'll be doing in London right that's a, you're doing the swimming well either that or the gymnastics I'm not quite sure <laughs> you're, you're the, you're the, you're the swimming man. no it's the only thing I know anything about people to tell you the yeah, truth not going here from the scrum win from Ryan Morgan a young Simpkin seems to have Hurt himself, but he's getting a round of applause from his teammates. Lewis and Claret coming from the left eye. Next Friday, um, the Storm up against the Knights. That's the live game into New South Wales. And the Broncos up against the Dragons is the live game into Queensland. Parry, you can stand. Parry, you can stand. Just so in the Kino replay, the, the reason that Luke Lewis got up opened up over the left eye was a head clash with one of his own players. Ryan Morgan comes up. Simpkins. Oh. <laughs> he came out of it better the 17 than the skipper did. Time back on. Out. Austin. Jennings. Oh, straight through Morgan. He'll get rid of it. He does. Austin backed him up. Blake Austin to play the ball 25 metres away from the Parramatta line. 33 to 6 for score. Walsh, McKendry. Ball lost in the tackle by Sam McKendry. Stay down, boys. Just under eight minutes of this game to go now. Big day of racing at Rose Hill tomorrow. Coolmore Classic. And of 
because that is the actual official opening of the, the carnival, of course, and it'll take us through to Golden Slipper Day, which you'll see on nine. Two group blanks tomorrow there. Account. The pair at the starting to, to get a few now. I went back right and had a look at all the possession stats through the opening three weeks. Any team that has had 30 completions or more has won the football game. And we've got the Panthers 29 and 40, so they they will they will join that as well. So if you have a look through, if your football team can come up with 30 completions a night, invariably they'll win. Paulo, right in the middle of the ground. Sando. They've been right up in their face all night, Penrith. You heard Andrew Johns in the preview, and you've heard our expert commentary team telling you, and they all maintain that if you get your defence right, everything else just falls into the parade, the parade of excellence. And uh, Penrith have been in Parramatta's face all night. Well, it's all related. If you completed them at 30 sets, you have more energy in defence. You've seen with Parramatta, they've dropped balls. And their defence has really suffered. They're, they're under fatigue. They're not getting off the line. The times have just looked disorganised on the edge of the ruck. At racing tomorrow, you'll see that on the wide world of sports from two. The Ram Vets. And the Coolmore Classic, David Simmons, it's gone forward. And of course, those two major lead up races to the slipper, one of them brings together the, the diamond winner, Samaretti, up against uh, that horse of Gerald Ryan Snitzerland, I think it is. My God, that'll be a race. That will be a race. And am I right? It's Black Caviar's little brother going around tomorrow. I might be wrong, but he's very good. No, I don't think it's him. He's very good. Anyway, right through this carnival in Sydney, you'll see it on nine. On free to wear. Through from Sando, it's picked up Morgan out wide on the right. Tries to force a channel down that corridor over there. Now, Vasalo. Just try and think about some of the players that aren't out there for Parramatta that may give you some reason to have excuses for their lack of success. Hayne, of course. And then you've got Jacob Loco, but he's gone for the season. And then you've got Ben Smith. There they are, passing the ball quickly. Parramatta out to Willie Tonga. He got rid of David Simmons. And then he goes down and is put away 25 metres out from the line. Play back to Maguire. Now it's with Roberts. Roberts in for Moy Moy. So Sando. Good. Kicking to the right wing for big chase Blair. Ball comes down for Parramatta to play on. It's the start of the tackle count again. Morgan will play the ball. Playing it back for Paulo to give to Mana. Wait, mate, take your time. Time out. And you, you heard it and you saw it. You just, you can say in charge, mate. Parramatta the penalty. I don't think that was worrying Penrith too much. No. Lost control, which all good. Whoa, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Hands out. Tim. 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 Tim, walk away, mate. Tim, Tim, that ain't going to do anything at this time of the game other than first up. Bring it up, fellas. Take it away. Scrum here. Yeah, the only other player on top of that list you mentioned, Essie Tonga, hit uh, his hamstring two weeks ago again against the Warriors. But unfortunately, when Jared Hayne comes back, the pressure on his young shoulders is going to be astronomical, and he's not going to he's not going to solve the problems. Move off the ball. A couple of divots out there, just looking through the binoculars. A couple of divots inside the 20-meter line. 
Fred Ingham. You've got in one, they'd never find you. This ground has really taken a bashing from whatever disease it's got. Here's Austin. And they go out to the left side for Wasili. To play the ball there on the halfway line, cover by Blair. Now Austin floating the ball out to Walsh, then inside for A Church. Paulo doing the defending. Kingston to Weston. 35 away from the Parramatta line. And this is the last on this set for Penrith. Walsh. And able to kick with no challenge. And the ball has come to ground and it's with Sando. And referee says play on. Sando's on his way for his fourth try of the year. So they've scored eight tries, and Sando has scored four of them this season. Well, we're going back just to have a look. And you if you check the contest the down there, please. The sports bet that Glenn Munsey revealed at halftime, you'll probably be watching this Kino replay very closely. Kick went up, just lying on the ground. Chris Sando picked it up. And the only thing that will deny the blue and goals here if there's uh, an infringement from Parramatta. Sando under the football. Now, which way does he knock it? Oh, gee. I think there's one ricochet, forward in there so. somewhere, is there? There's a ball ricocheted forward. And then hit uh, Lasalo, accidental hop side. Yep. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's gone. It's gone off CO into a player who's in front of him, which is accidental offside because that player doesn't play at the ball. No try is the correct ruling. These referees are going to get, well, they are getting a nice raspberry over this. Brad Fitler on the sideline. Got Travis Burnett, Clint Newton, made an outstanding performance tonight. Yeah, it wasn't too bad, you know, we were, we were embarrassed last week and uh, really dominated in the forwards last week against South, so um, we work real hard during the week on attitude and I think we come here and put it together tonight. Bit of ice on the leg, mate, is it uh, you're here because it's an injury or a reward for your effort tonight? Oh, no, I think I've got hooks <laughs> because of my kick chase when they went through, so, no, I think uh, still got plenty to work on, mate. We um, still look a bit sloppy this last, this last ten. Thanks a lot, fellas. At home with Brad Fittler. New episode coming up next week. Same time, same station. What time would that be on? Oh, about, well, <laughs> it's got to be late night. You've got to take some, you know, some measures to make sure you don't put it on in prime time. But that's, that was a typical example of, of the new series coming to nine at home with Brad Fittler. And here is Jennings. Put down ten away from his line. 10 away from the line that he'd like to get over the line and call it his. And now from Galea, it's gone to A Church. He's a big lad. Kingston away from Lewis to Weston, back to Lewis, and he should make it, but they might hold him up. It's um, Gavin Reynolds ordering. That the Penrith captain was held up. Third tackle, foot on the goal line. Tackle. When you're ready, get. Long ball to Walsh. They've got one more. Jenny. Jenny. Poking his nose through. Coot was with him, as he always is. Play the ball awful. Penalty Penrith. Wait, no, 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 no. In line with Matt. Kingston then. Back to Walsh. And Walsh goes across to his captain Lewis, who's able to offload for Ty. Back to the middle for Walsh. Now it's gone to Galea, to Galea and he's put down. By Morgan coming in. Now it's gone from Kingston. Again to Luke Walsh. No look, Jennings. No look, Wysili tries. They try right on full time for the Penrith Panthers. Last two passes, 
absolute pearlers. And a hat-trick for the young winger, Eddie Rosselli. And his teammates very happy for him. And again, it's a... <laughs> He's giving a smile with his mouth guard out. You can see there, Ryan Morgan, the centre, at marker again. And just like Penrith did in the first half, they attacked down the side. The centre would normally be defending, and they caught the Parramatta defence out. It's good vision again. You see a centre there. I'm not quite sure whether he's got a future on the Jeez, dance floor. Like How good was that? Can we see that again? There we go. Oh, stay There's yeah. no urgency on the edge of the rocks, Phil. You see the number of, I think there was more... Parramatta defenders and attackers. And. Whoa. Yes. Oh, <laughs> That's yes. good. There's a bit of South American salsa in that. Yeah, there was a bit of salsa in that. Yeah, <laughs> it's a very difficult dance, the salsa. Really? It reminded me a little bit of my, my, my use with the dancing pumps and the stovepipes yeah. and, and the brill like cream. The what? <laughs> dancing pumps. Dancing pumps. That's what they're called. Dancing shoes. Oh, okay. Come on. No wonder you got bad news these days. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about a church when he fills out into that body of his. That's what Dad said to me, but it never happened, Pete. <laughs> never, ever happened. It all went pear-shaped. Oh, it filled out in a couple of places, Russ. That's a fair point you make. S same thing happened to Joey. He's got the same disease. Here's Walsh from the sideline, and he's got it, Luke. <laughs> and you have been thoroughly outstanding. Luke Walsh. Nobody can deny that, even if they were the most ardent Parramatta supporter. You've had a, a splendid game. I don't know whether you can get a 10 out of 10, but Walsh would have to be right up there close to it. 39 to 6. A lot of very, very impressive performances outside of him. Burns was great. Lewis was good. And Jennings. And then Wasili got a treble. Next up, our $1,000 cleanup with Kino, man of the match. And then we take you across to the West Coast to Perth for more Friday night football. You're watching Nine's Wide World of Sports.